नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग आर डी स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कस कैलकुलेशन ऑफ क्लेम अमाउंट टूडे डिस्कस टॉपिक दिस टॉपिक ऑफ ए बी एस टी पेपर फर्स्ट फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग चैप्टर इंश्योरेंस क्लेम इंश्योरेंस क्लेम्स टू स्टेप आर कंप्लीटेड वीडियो पोस्ट इन यूट्यूब चैनल एंड रिमेनिंग स्टेप आर डिस्कस टूडे All students are request to note the important note of this this a content and watch video at the end for many new information of claim amount let's start myself डॉक्टर महेंद्र कुमार खांडिया असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ए डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कॉमर्स गवर्नमेंट लोहिया कॉलेज चूरू कैलकुलेशन ऑफ क्लेम कैलकुलेशन ऑफ क्लेम अमाउंट नाउ वी एक्सप्लेन इन द following steps two step are completed and next step in following manner step third two step complete and next step third calculation of loss of profit step third calculation of loss of profit loss of profit is calculated by multiplying uh, ratio of gross profit with short sales ratio of gross profit with short sales step first calculation of short sales and second calculation of rate of gross profit two step third step calculation of loss of profit it can be calculate in the from following formula formula is loss of profit equal short sales into rate of gross profit short sales into rate of gross profit two amount are short sales first and rate of gross profit second short sales according step first calculate and according step two rate of gross profit to amount multiplying amount received loss of profit step four application of average class application of average class if the policy has already been taken policy has been already taken from uh, pro about equivalent or more as per requirement equivalent or more as per requirement then average class not applicable amount of policy to be taken for equivalent or more as per requirement then average class is not applicable however if the policy is less than if the policy is less than 
रिक्वायरमेंट अमाउंट ऑफ पॉलिसी दैट शुड हैव बिन टेकन एवरेज क्लास विल बी अप्लीकेबल इफ पॉलिसी इज लेस देन द रिक्वायरमेंट अमाउंट ऑफ पॉलिसी शुड बी शुड हैव बीन टेकन एवरेज क्लास विल बी अप्लीकेबल इन द इवेंट ऑफ एवरेज क्लाज बींग अप्लीकेबल अमाउंट ऑफ क्लेम इज कैलकुलेट इन द फॉलोइंग मैनर अमाउंट ऑफ क्लेम अप्लीकेशन ऑफ एवरेज क्लास अप्लीकेशन ऑफ एवरेज क्लास अमाउंट ऑफ क्लेम बराबर लॉस ऑफ लॉस ऑफ प्रॉफिट इन टू वैल्यू ऑफ पॉलिसी इन टू वैल्यू ऑफ पॉलिसी या इंश्योरेबल इंश्योरेंस अमाउंट या इंश्योरेंस अमाउंट डिवाइडेड पॉलिसी टू बी टेकन डिवाइडेड पॉलिसी टू बी टेकन और इंश्योरेबल अमाउंट और इंश्योरेबल अमाउंट सेम पॉलिसी टू बी टेकन और इंश्योरेबल अमाउंट सेम वैल्यू ऑफ पॉलिसी एंड इंश्योरे इंश्योरेंस अमाउंट सेम डिटरमाइनिंग द amount of policy to be taken this amount is calculated on the basis of sales from the previous 12 month from the date of fire from the date of fire this amount is calculated on the basis of sales from the previous 12 month from the date of fire in this amount is decrease and increase in sales according to trend trend of decrease and increase necessary changes are adjusted gross profit on previous 12 month adjusted sales amount of policy to be taken policy to be taken sales of 12 month just before date of fire and adjusted trend of sales increase and decrease amount of adjusted gross uh, adjusted sales into multiply rate of gross profit amount received policy to be taken note many uh, important very important that students understand uh, that sales used in above step sales used step first previous year sales in the basis of indemnity period previous year sales in the basis of indemnity period step 2 to find out rate of gross profit 12th month sales of previous accounting year prove to indemnity period from the basis variables and step 4 for where are you wherever you are determining policy to be taken the basis is sales of previous 12th month just before date of fire just before date of fire amount of uh, previous 
ट्वेल्थ मंथ सेल्स यूज फॉर पॉलिसी टू बी टेकन क्लेम फॉर एडिशनल वर्किंग एक्सपेंसेस इफ एडिशनल वर्किंग एक्सपेंसेस इन एडिशनल इंक्रीज सेल्स वन स्टेप एडिशनल इफ क्लेम फॉर एडिशनल वर्किंग एक्सपेंसेस समटाइम फायर इंश्योरेंस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इंक्लूड इंक्लूड्स दैट ड्यूरिंग द इंडेमिटी पीरियड एडिशनल एक्सपेंसेज इनकर टू इंक्रीज सेल्स विल बी पेड बाई द इंश्योरेंस कंपनी दीज एक्सपेंसेज इंक्लूड रेंट ऑफ न्यू प्रेमरीज रेंट ऑफ प्लांट एंड मशीनरी एडवर्टाइजमेंट एक्सपेंसेज इच compensations of these additional expenses are made in condition when doing doing to indemnity period sales is increased sales is increased from the following whatever is less will be the amount of claim for additional working expenses additional working expenses number 1 actual additional working expenses incurred to increase sales during the indemnity period second additional amount of gross profit on additional sales second additional amount of gross profit on additional sales and third if all standing expenses are not insured then amount of claim will be determined as per following formula additional cost of working additional cost of working into policy to be taken into policy to be taken divide policy to be taken plus insured standing charges insured standing charges comment additional sales in the absence of clear information it is accepted that during the indemnity period the actual sales has been done because of additional working expenses hence actual sales during the indemnity period is considered as additional sales considered as additional sales that five step of calculation amount of claim step first calculation of short sales second calculation of rate of gross profit third calculation of amount of claim and fourth step is policy to be taken and five 
amount of claim. Five step of amount of claim. If claim for additional working expenses, one step, one more step add in amount of claim. Six step. If claim for additional working expenses and not five only five step of calculation of amount of claim. Thank you.